Well, 10 consecutive interest rate hikes are taking a toll on mortgage holders. Westpac boss Peter King is claiming house repossessions are now at GFC levels. Joining us now, the executive chairman of Yellow Brick Road Home Loans, Mark Burris. Mark, we'll start there with Peter King's comments. Uh, sounds dire. A lot of people had expected that that would eventually take place as well. Is that what, is that what you're experiencing in your view? Uh, we're not experiencing in our business, but uh, it's not surprised to me because the general position of you know these interest rate hikes by reserve banks around the world is they keep doing doing it until they break something. And like back in the GFC, they broke the banking system. This time, they're not going to break the banking system because the government's not going to let that happen. Really, what they want to break this time is consumers and uh, the, one of the consequences of breaking consumers mate is that uh, people have to sell their houses or the banks take possession which so I'm not surprised. Yeah he goes on to say here the proportion of customers falling behind on mortgage repayments remains low but then he clarifies that pressure is going to build when people come off fixed rate mortgages. So I mean is there a cliff around the corner in, in your view? Well, everybody talks about the 800,000 people this year, 2023, whose fixed rates are going to go to variable rates sometime this year. And that starts happening from March, or that starts happening from this month. But there is also another 450,000 people who are going to come off the fixed rate mortgage, fixed rate mortgages in 2024 as well. So mm. we've got about 18 months and around 1.2 million borrowers are going to go from paying 2% per annum to nearly 6%. Yeah. So that's three times and you're going to be paying a lot more per month. So that's a big, big, big problem. So that's where potentially we're getting to, is that is that potentially where we're getting to most of this, you know, default repossession territory with, you know, that group? Yeah, because most of those people who, um, who are paying the fixed rate are just living hand to mouth anyway, because the cost of living, generally speaking, has increased as well. So yeah. where are those people going to find an extra couple of thousand bucks a month? If, uh, like an average mortgage, they're going to be paying at least a thousand dollars to fifteen hundred dollars a month, and like where are they going to find that? That's twelve thousand, thirteen, fourteen thousand dollars a year after tax dollars. Did they get that pay rise? Did they get a twenty thousand dollar pay rise during the year? Probably unlikely. Mm. So uh, yeah, it's a big drama, major drama, and that's where we're going to see the defaults and arrears and delinquencies. Okay, now this next story is uh, unlikely to help when it comes to housing anyway. 650,000 new migrants expected here over the next two years. Mark, uh, what sort of an impact do you think this will have on the housing market when it comes to prices and rents? Well, I've heard a lot of the government start saying that we're going to put them into regional areas. Well, regional areas, the big regional areas where the jobs are, by the way, have vacancy rates at 0%. You go out to places like Central West of New South Wales, you know, parts of, uh, um, parts of uh, South Australia, etc. There's zero vacancy rates. So all that's going to do is push the uh, rents up yeah. as in those areas or put people on the streets. But And the, the major thing here, Pete, is that if a landlord knows he can put the rent up he will sh or she will put the rent up. And what that means is that we increase the inflationary number because there was a heavy weighting in the CPI index for inflation. And what does that mean? That means put interest rates even up even more because we're not controlling inflation. It's the same issue as happening in the United States, States at the moment. It's a big problem in the US because of the influx of people into the US. The same here, everybody wants to come here and all we're gonna do is keep putting rents up, which increases the inflation, which increases the interest rates, which then increases the rents. It's a wow. major problem. Wow. So how do you fix that? I mean, is more supply going to do it? Well, you know, the, the housing fund over in Canberra, it's run into a speed bump. More supply, yes, but the lead time of more supply is years. Yeah. And I've heard lots of the politicians talking about the supply, etc. But these things don't happen overnight. Councils don't want to approve these things. You know, people object because it's, you know, they don't want something happening in their area. You know, then they start talking about where are the schools, etc. The infrastructure, how are we going to fund the infrastructure? The governments are going to go into deficit to do that because that's a government's funding thing. So it's a bit of, mate, it's, it's a major drama. It'll be yeah. okay over time, but in the next two years, I reckon it's going to be really messy. No, I think, I think you're right, Mark. Good to chat as always. Talk to you soon.